are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more. I'm going to be talking today about a quote from an American educator and a scientist who also consulted several presidents of the United States. As you know, I created this back in the 80s. It's a collection of quotations on little folded slips of paper. It's called an apple a day. And it actually uh, sold really, really well. I lived uh, and did that for a couple of years. And on in it are a number of our lots and lots of little folded slips of paper. And I realized that the light is just going to whiten this out. So you can almost see it there. There you go. Such that uh, it's difficult to read. And the quotation is from Booker T. Washington. The world cares very little about what a man or woman knows. It is what the man or woman is able to do that counts. Let me read that again. The world cares very little what a man or woman knows. It is what the man or woman is able to do that counts. Now, before I get into the content of this quotation, I want to be very honest in that I just pulled great quotations that I found around the world and mostly in books that I was reading. And I would highlight, I always read with a highlighter. So I would highlight a quote. And if an author quoted someone famous, then I would uh, highlight that quotation. Now, this one here from Booker T. Washington, I find really interesting because I would say there's a very, very small amount of quotations in there that are from African Americans. Not that I thought about it one way or the other. I just liked quotations that I found, and those were not put in front of me that often. Now, of course, Booker T. Washington, uh, amazing educator, inventor, etc., member of the uh, African American elite at that time. The reason I'm trying to point this out is that because he was a minority person at that time, and his quotation is the only one that's truly inclusive. Let me read it again. The world cares very little about what a man or woman knows. Now, this would have been 100 years ago, and he's using both man or woman. It is what the man or woman is able to do that counts. So I find that very interesting that he is... um, being part of an ethnic minority at that time, and certainly not one with anywhere near equal status, to to talk about women, which I think is really, really cool. We all know people like this. I have, and in some cases, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I have had um, health coaches who themselves were not terribly healthy. I have had doctors who themselves were not terribly healthy. And although they were able to help me and I was able to take their advice, what really matters is what we are able to take that we know and convey into the world. The knowledge is the easy part. We all know things that we should say. We all know things that we should do. We all know ways of being that we would like to be. We know it. We know it. What really matters is what we do. And the doing is truly the hard part. I've shared many times, and I, because it keeps me honest, that going to the gym is something that I always am like, oh, I find a reason not to go. And yet I go. It matters what I do. I know I need to go. Why do I need to go? Oh, I've got a list. Not only does it keep me lean and muscular, but it also makes me happier and it makes me genuinely feel good and better in my life. And yet it's still a struggle. What matters is what I get myself to do. Think about all the people you know who give advice. I'm one of them. My daughter and I, as you know, spent about a week together recently, and she is such a chip off the old blockhead, as they say in peanuts. She and I are so much alike in that if I bring up something, she wants to go to 
have you tried doing this every day for three weeks? And I'm like, oh my gosh, you are so much my kid. And what matters is that she and I both have a lot of knowledge. The point we want to make sure first and foremost is that we demonstrate that knowledge in our own lives. As I've looked back at this complaining phenomenon, and as I've talked so much about it, and the five reasons people complain, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, they all have to do with this. And in my opinion, people complain simply to get attention. Hey, notice me, notice me, notice me. I'm going to talk about what's wrong, but I'm not going to do anything about what's wrong. So many people who, how do I put this? I know people who volunteer time and money on a regular basis to help out worthy charities who are doing good to resolve problems in this world. I also know people who do not volunteer for such organizations and they chronically complain about these problems in the world. There is something in human nature that gets us to believe that if we are complaining about something, we are somehow actually doing something about it. What are you doing about this? Well, I'm complaining to other people. The people who are really actively doing something about something rarely complain about it. Sometimes they will. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get people who are militant. But what I'm saying is it's not an excuse for not taking action. We all know better things that we can do for our lives, for the world, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Myself this morning, I got up and I was thinking about a bunch of things and I have this tendency to dive right into journaling, which can be very, very helpful. And then I'll find myself two hours later and I will not have stretched, exercised, or eaten. And so this morning I decided to apply what I know. And that is, I know I do better when I stretch. I know I do better when I, uh, when I eat. I know I do better when I exercise. So I did some of those things this morning. What do you know better that you're just not quite doing? Ask yourself that. And then begin to ask yourself, how can I begin to apply the knowledge that I have? We've all heard of this concept of a professional student, a person who literally, and, I, and we know people like this, who basically go to school their entire life and they never actually go out and get into a profession. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you can afford to do that, I think that would be a great way to live, personally. The thing is, they're doing it idea, uh, ostensibly, at least when you talk with people like this, so that they can get out and make a contribution in, to, in the world, so that they can get out and get, an, and get a job, et cetera. But they continue to do, stay in and learn, 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 and never apply. So I'm simply going to ask you today, what is it that you need to apply? What is it that you know that you already need to apply? Let me give you the quote one more time. The world cares very little about a, what a man or woman knows. Is what It's what about the... Let me try that again. The world cares very little about what a man or woman knows. It is what the man or woman is able to do that counts. Booker T. Washington. It's what we do, not what we say. All right, everybody, I'm going to check in, see what comments anybody want to click share, please do. And then sh type shared in the uh, share box so that we know that you have shared. Courtney Williams says, shared already. Cynthia Barcher says, grateful for a new morning. Good morning. What's up today, says Brittany Lynn. Hey, good to see you. Grateful for experience. I get it. Brittany Lynn says, shared already. Good morning. Grateful for an amazing light show last night. Lightning through thick fog. I'll bet that was beautiful. And Linda Starn says, shared. Great, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. And I will be with you again, as always, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock Eastern time. And for those of you who are watching 
on replay or on demand. Thank you so much for being with me. You're all part of this positive community. Be sure and comment and I'll rep- respond personally. Take care. Bye-bye. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more.